Brett Gardner, the longest tenured Yankee, a big part of the leadership of this squad. And I asked him yesterday, we learned that Araldis Chapman had tested positive for coronavirus. If that changed anything as far as his thoughts heading into this season and what his initial reaction was when he heard that Chapman had tested positive for COVID-19. My reaction when I found out, obviously disappointed, um, you know, concerned for his, his health and his family's health. I hear that he's been feeling pretty well. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that continues and we get him back soon. But um, it doesn't affect the way that I look at the season. I mean, I think that, um, you know, going into this, I kind of think that we're kind of all prepared for, um, for this kind of thing to happen. And hopefully it doesn't happen on a larger scale. I think that We've been doing a great job of trying to keep our distance from each other and wear masks when we're inside all the time and um, just try and, and follow the, the pr protocols that have been put in place to try and stay as safe and healthy as possible. And, um, you know, hopefully um, we can continue to do that. Take the next question from Pete Caldera. Pete. Hey, Guardy. Hey, uh, one of the guys had mentioned that and obviously, it's, it's a lot quieter in the clubhouse these days with the distancing and the masks. And just curious that, you know, for a guy who's an important voice in that clubhouse, is it different or difficult for you, you know, you know, not having that, that same kind of clubhouse culture that, that you're used to? Um, yeah, I mean, there's obviously a lot of things that are different now than, than what I have grown accustomed to over the years. Um, but, I mean, it's something that everybody has to deal with, not just everybody on our team, but all teams throughout the league. And, um, you know, I think that the better, um, the better we can navigate those changes and deal with them and, and kind of, um, you know, look past that, I think the better off we'll be as a team. So the opportunity is still there to talk to guys and to, and to relate to guys and to teach guys or learn from guys or have conversation. So I think that, um, you know, it's just a matter of um, – you know, all being on the same page, all pulling for each other and being cohesive as one unit. And as I said, we were talking about with the mask, just continue to wear those inside and try and be as safe as possible. Thank you. Sweeney Murdy, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Guardy, how you doing? Good, Sweeney, thank you. Good, uh, two things real quick. One, how would you rate Radley Haddad as a home plate umpire? <laughs> He's pretty good back there. He's seen a lot of, um, He's seen, he's seen a lot of pitches from that angle, and I thought Julio did a good job the other night as well. That's not a that's not an easy job, and um, you get you're probably asking because you saw me giving him a hard time last night, but but more mad at um, you know the the good pitch that Clark Schmidt made. Um, you know, just um, obviously wanted to get another get another pitch and and, and see another pitch that at bat, but. Um, yeah, he does a good job back there, and um, also was pretty impre impressed with Clark too. All right, thanks. And uh, what are what are some of the things you know? Uh, Mike Ford was talking a minute ago about how you know, the atmosphere kind of reminds him about a ball, and you kind of have to find your own motivation since there's not a big crowd. What are some of the things that maybe you've talked about with your teammates? Things that you guys together can do to kind of enhance your own in-game experience and keep that motivation going? Well, yeah, that's a good question. I mean, the the environment is definitely different. Um, you know, we're not accustomed to inter-squad games really at all against our own teammates like this. So that's got a different feel to it. Uh, but, you know, I think just um, just knowing that we've got to go out there and prepare and get ready for a season. And, um, you know, these games, I don't want to say that they don't matter because obviously um, we're out there all doing our best with a purpose. But that purpose is to get ready for the season. And, um, you know, we're, what, maybe 10, 10, 11 days away from that. So it'll be here before we know it. And I think that, um, you know, as, as different as things are, there's still opportunities to, um, you know, talk to each other and learn from each other and um, still work together in a smart way to, uh, you know, get to where we want to be. Christy Ackert, go ahead and unmute. Hi, Brett. Um, sorry about that. Just um, when you're going out there and you're facing your own pitchers, what do you take away? I mean, is there any benefit to that for you as a hitter, you know, maybe talking to them afterwards or something like that? Is there anything you can take away from that that you don't get from facing a, another team's pitchers? Um, yeah, that's a great question. I mean, I, I definitely think that there's a benefit in getting to face any live pitching at all right now obviously to get ready for the season um 
and I think that being able to face our own guys, obviously we, we have, uh, have an idea of what to expect, uh, what kind of stuff that they have. But, you know, we all also can kind of be a sounding board to them and tell them how their stuff looks and, and what uh, pitches look good out of their hands and things like that. So I think that, um, you know, we can all learn from each other. And, and I think so far um, we haven't had many high-scoring uh, games so far. So I think um, our pitching is obviously ahead of the hitting. Everybody knows how good our pitchers are. So we've been seeing that firsthand for the last week or so. How excited will you be to face another team's pitchers? Yeah, that'll be a that'll be a whole lot better. You know, I think um, it, it's hard to, um, you know, get. Um, I don't want to say it's hard to get ready for these inter squad games, but it's not as easy as a normal regular season or postseason game here at Yankee Stadium. So it's definitely got a different feel to it. But it'll be good to uh, to see a different uniform out there and um, you know play games that. Um, not only matter, but really, really matter in such a short season. I think uh, each game is going to matter that much more. So uh, we're looking forward to that. Thank you. Bob Clappish, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Brett. Thank you for talking to us. Um, I just said a moment ago that uh, he will be wearing a mask or is attempting to or thinking about wearing a mask at all times, including at the plate, even in the outfield. Is that something that you would consider? Um, it's not something I've considered yet. I, I do try and be respectful of everyone and keep my mask on all the time when, um, when I'm indoors, um, except for when I'm maybe in the batting cage working or, um, or in the shower or whatever. But, um, you know, I think all of our guys have really done a good job of that. I think if it's something that um, was obviously required or suggested, I would be open to doing whatever I need to do to try and make this work along with everybody else. But, um, you know, we can all just, all we can do is just do our part. And like I said, whatever we're, whatever's asked of us, um, we need to try and be as smart as possible. Take a final question from Lindsay Adler. Lindsay. Hey, Brett. Hope you're doing well. Hey, um, Lindsay. I spoke, spoke with Cece the other day, and he said that, you know, of his teammates, he, you know, expects that you probably understand his perspective on, you know, issues of racial inequality and things like that, because... He said that he would come to you over the years when incidents would happen. Just curious if you wanted to kind of expand on that and maybe share your perspective on maybe what you learned from playing with CC or others. Yeah, I mean, CC. <clears throat> first of all, I've never been shy about my, um, you know, admiration of him, not just as a player and as a teammate, but as a person and as a man. And, um, you know, he's one of the very best, if not the best teammate I've ever had. And, and I've had quite a few good ones to walk in and out of these doors over the last 12 or 13 years. And, um, you know, I think he's a guy that everybody not only looks up to and respects, but um, everybody misses. And, and he's a guy that everybody turned to in this clubhouse for the last 10 or 11 years. And, you know, even though we were only in spring training for a few weeks before we uh, shut things down, he's a guy that immediately from the first couple of days we missed. And, um, you know, we've got guys on the team that um, can fill those, try and fill those shoes a, as a leader and, and as a teammate. And I think that, um, you know, it's just important for all of us to continue to have that conversation amongst each other and, um, you know, continue to, um, you know, try and push forward with different things and, and learn from people and realize what's important to people. And, um, you know, I think that <clears throat> us as a team, as a group inside of those doors, that's something that we've already committed to continue to do and um, something we look forward to.